Hey, this is Josh at Breaker Stereo. We're going to go over the Alpine ILX 207. Uh, this is Alpine's new multimedia unit. Uh, no CD or DVD drive, but it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So let's go check it out. Okay, so let's go over some of the features on this Alpine radio. This is the FM screen, as you can see. You can tune here back and forth, and then you can also tune on the bottom on the hard buttons as well. Um, and then you can also do a direct tune. So if you know your station, you can just uh, type in what you want. Point three and enter and it goes right to it. Uh, kind of cool, you have uh, presets like every other radio out there, of course. And then what's cool about this is you do have a drop down menu that you can go directly to your fading and also your bass and your treble. So all that's accessible, which is uh, sliding that down. All right, so what's cool about this radio is it does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I'm gonna go over both of these features right now. So right now, as you can see, I have an Android phone hooked up to it. And then when you go to it, this is your screen and then you have on the bottom your navigation, your phone call, uh, there's your home screen, uh, your music. Okay, so let's go over some of these features here. So this is Google Maps. And um, now on the radio, you cannot actually enter in the address or the point of interest uh, because the purpose of having Android Auto and also Apple CarPlay is to keep your eyes on the road, right? And so. You're able to, though, use the voice recognition uh, to get to your point of destination. So let's say, for instance, we're going to do uh, an address. Directions to 465 North Oxnard Boulevard. Your work is one minute from your location by car in light traffic. You could also do a point of interest as well. So let's say I wanted to get to the nearest gas station. Directions to the nearest gas station. Oxnard gas station is one minute from your location by car in light traffic. And it's going to route it for me and then I just tap it there. Head south on North Oxnard Boulevard toward East Colonia Road. Then it'll route me. Okay, so that's that right there. Let's say we go to the phone. Um, as you can see, these are, these are the, this is the history. And then you can also dial a number there or you can actually go through your uh, contacts all right and then this is your home here and then on the music it'll play your music to Google Play and then I can select either radio station podcast um, playlist things of that nature all right and then that this button here will just take me back to the Alpine main menu okay now I got an iPhone plugged in and then the uh, icon pops up and these are the apps that I have connected to uh, uh, these are the apps I have on my phone that pop up here. Uh, so you obviously have your phone, music, maps. So it's not going to use Google Maps. It's going to use the Apple Maps here. And it's the same thing. Um, so if I wanted to go to a certain place, address, I basically hold in the Siri button. So here you have, as you can see, the home button, just like on your phone, the bottom of your phone. Uh, if I hold that in for a couple seconds, it'll activate Siri. Directions to 465 North Oxnard Boulevard. Getting directions to 465 North Oxnard Boulevard, Oxnard. All right, so there's a little lag there. Usually it doesn't do that. All right, so let's go back to the home button here. And then as you can see, we got your uh, podcast. There's nothing here. Audio books, text messages are really cool as well um that's why feature one, one feature i really like um, on here is the text messaging and so let me send a text message real quick and we'll see how this thing works okay so i got a text message here if i tap it it'll read it out to me christian bird said breaker stereo is awesome want to reply yes what do you want to say I agree. Your reply to Christian Bird says, I agree. Ready to send it? Yes. Done. Okay, so you're able to send text messages like that um, all through Siri, all through just one quick touch on the screen. Now, that was a little loud, so I'm gonna go into the menu, show you guys how to turn that down. So if you're gonna go into to set up here, and then we're gonna go into, uh, I wanna say sound. All right, and we're 
gonna go into source setup and then scroll to CarPlay. And then, okay, so Siri's pretty loud right now. So I can take that down to about a two. Let's take notifications down to a two and this as well. So it's not so loud when it comes through. Okay, that's it. And close. And let's activate Siri. All right, there we go. So not so loud. Cool. Okay, so let's go back into some of the other features this radio has. Now keep in mind, this radio does not have a CD player or a DVD uh, drive, so you cannot play CDs or DVDs on this unit. All right. Um, so let's say, for instance, we are on the radio. Okay, and we want to do, we want to adjust the. Uh, the sound on it so as you saw there is the drop down menu for just the bass and the treble but let's say for instance you want to you know really tune this thing so we can go into the uh the menu hit the setup button and then we're going to go to sound and then if we scroll down here um you have equalizer presets okay and so there are your, there's your presets there uh, for different types of music, if you really want to adjust it, you can go to dual HD EQ. And this gives you a nine band equalizer, okay? And then you can actually select the frequency you want to boost and the levels you want to boost and also the Q as well. So if you're not familiar with that, um, I do have a video on parametric EQs. You guys can check that out, but just real brief here. Let's say we're on the uh, left side of the equal equalizer. I wanted to tune uh, 50 Hertz, so I'd select 50 and then I can go up and down from there. And if I wanted the Q factor to be larger, I can go to wide. And then on the other end of the spectrum, I can go as high as 18K, actually 20K, pretty high. Don't know that I want to go that high. So let's say you're at 16 or so, and then you can adjust the level and also you, uh, you can adjust the Q factor as well. So that's that. Also, there's crossovers uh, built into this as well. So if you have a, uh, a four channel amplifier, or if you don't have a four channel amplifier, you can still cross over the speakers that are wired to the radio which is a cool feature uh this right here we are in the let's see here okay so you have high level and low level and also do a subwoofer right now we're on the front so it says front hp and then we can pick the uh, crossover level that we want okay and uh, so and let's say we want we chose 100 and then we can also pick the slope too so that's a 6 db slope 12 db slope 18 and it goes as high as a 24 uh, which is a very steep slope uh, if you're not familiar with these numbers again there is a video that we've done on uh, crossovers and what they do so check that out okay so to select the rear you hit channel and then you have the rear HP and then you can select the, again the frequency and then also the slope make sure you set the slope if you leave it at zero it's not gonna do anything uh, so set it at 18 and then if we want to go to the sub, we hit channel again, then it'll switch sub for low pass. And then let's say we do the 80 and also select the slope as well. Cool. Okay, so this radio also has time correction. So if you hit this tab here, the time correction can be a beast to set up, but in a nutshell, what it does is it controls the, the sound of the, or the speed, I should say, of the speaker. So you can manipulate the speakers so that the sound sounds like it's coming directly in front of you. So most times you're going to do your time correction around the driver's seat. So you would, in essence here, speed uh, the front right up, right? And then slow uh, the one down. But basically what these numbers mean is you actually have to take a measurement from the middle of the speaker to where about the headrest is and then adjust accordingly. All right, so that's that. That's as much as we're going to get into as far as time correction is concerned. Um, this radio also has a, a four volt pre out, so you got a four volt pre out front, rear, and sub. Most of your radios are about a 1.7 or two volt pre out, so this gives you double the output uh, in the preamp section, which makes a huge difference. One of the reasons why that Alpine radios are one of the better sounding radios on the market, if not the best. Okay, another feature on this that I really like is there is a favor button on here. So here you can select your favorite sources. So I'm going to go into and go to edit. And let's say you want to add and let's do, for instance, I'm always on 
um, the CarPlay. So if I want to add CarPlay, basically I can go here. That adds CarPlay uh, to my favorite, let's call it preset. So it's like a preset. All right, I'm just gonna say, um, I wanted to add a certain radio station so I can go to radio. And let's say my preset uh, number one is the preset I just listen to the most. And so let's just say it's that, okay. So it'll set that 87.7 as one of my favorites. And then if I wanna add more, you can do other things such as, you know, Pandora, uh, Bluetooth, things of that nature. So you guys get the idea. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. And then to get to it, so if you're in, okay, let's, let's just save them. If you're here and you wanna, you just hit your favorite button, comes up, boom, I wanna go to CarPlay. Goes right to it. Another nice feature on this too, is Alpine has a navigation button uh, that they have on all their navigation units and they put this on this radio as well even though it does not have navigation but it obviously uses the navigation on the Apple CarPlay and on the uh, Android Auto as well so if you hit that button right there it'll take it directly to the maps whatever device you're on uh, which is I, I believe a cool really cool feature to have as well okay so if you're interested in this radio it's the ILX207 uh, let us know the number here is 805-486-8307. If you're local, we are 465 North Oxnard Boulevard. You can also buy this online on our website at breakersmobile.com. Uh, credit is available, uh, so you can make payments. No credit is needed. If you have bad credit, no credit, good credit, no problem. We can get you approved. Just go onto our website and apply, and we can get this thing sent out to you as soon as possible. The retail on this unit is $6.99, and that comes with a full one-year warranty parts and labor okay so if you're interested in this radio it's the ILX207 uh, let us know the number here is 805-486-8307 if you're local we are 465 North Oxnard Boulevard you can also buy this online on our website at breakersmobile.com uh, credit is available uh, so you can make payments no credit is needed if you have bad credit no credit good credit no problem we can get you approved just go on to our website and apply and we can get this thing sent out to you as soon as possible the retail on this unit is $6.99 and that comes with a full one-year warranty parts and labor okay log on to breakersmobile.com scroll down slightly and click where it says apply now to get approved for up to $2,500.